Leo, good morning. Welcome to your general reading. My name's Clive. You're watching Emery's Tarot. The only message I have for you is please take the bits that resonate, leave the rest. This applies to new viewers, new subscribers, anybody that's watching. It is my great pleasure to be here and read for you. It's fantastic. And, you know, my extreme gratefulness goes out to all supporters of my channel it's it's brilliant and your your support is very much appreciated okay but the only other message i have for you is <clears throat> please take the bits that resonate leave the rest do not try to make it fit this will lead you to wrong conclusions okay so without further ado let's get messages for the sign of leo What messages do we have with regards to your situation? Okay. Well, we have a very happy situation here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm getting an emotional offer coming your way and a new opportunity presenting itself. There is the bottom of the deck. There is the seven of pentacles. Okay. Now there's a new avenue opening up for you. Okay. I'm kind of getting here that there. For some of you, you've been carrying a torch for somebody, okay, even though you, up and hitherto you haven't been with them. This person, I'm kind of getting, wants to come back into your life, okay, and re-establish contact. Okay, they want to recover the situation. There was a painful ending here, okay, but somebody here wants a fresh start. So that puts the onus on you, which is a big decision, okay, on whether to let this person back into your life or not. At the moment, I'm kind of getting that some of you are established, okay, doing well for yourselves. All right, you're with somebody that's very loyal, very reliable, very supportive. Okay, they are very successful now what I'm getting for most of you all right is a decision between work and love here and there is genuine emotion here that's for sure it's a question of priorities okay but because the universe wants to test you and this all seems wrong timing on kind of getting that a work opportunity also presents itself as the same time as a love opportunity. So now there's a decision to make to be made. All right. And somebody here has realized, you know, what you actually mean to them. So I'm kind of getting they're coming in with the truth. All right, they regret what's happened. They want to put the past behind them. They want to come back in. They want to get back together with you. Okay, but your circumstances have changed a lot since this person was around. All right, and there is a decision here on which way you're going to go. But either way, there is the leaving of a situation or a person behind okay they're definitely willing to work on it this person has changed big time mm. I'm getting a private conversation taking place
the expectations are very, very different this time. Now, you could be dealing with somebody that is married or, you know, has a business. Okay, this is, for, for, for me, there's, there's a love and work interest here, but there's, there's a whose decision on priorities. That's what I'm getting. Ten of Cups. Mm. Yeah, there's a big desire. Yeah, I'm getting that. There's there's the return of an ex. Okay, for a lot of you. You could have even been married to this person and separated. But they definitely want to come back. They definitely realise what you mean to them. Yeah, it's yeah. They want to work on it. They're there for the long term. Now, the question is, how much patience do you have? How much work are you willing to put in on this? That's the big question you're asking yourself. I'm getting a lot of you. It's seeing the truth about the situation. You are feeling stuck at the moment, but this time you're definitely not going to put your feelings on hold just to please somebody else. Regardless of your situation, I'm kind of getting it's it's not been fulfilling you. It's been good, satisfactory. There's not been a lot of worry there. This is your present situation. And, you know, you there is a torch you've been carrying for the ex despite what's gone off I'm kind of getting in the past the connection was very one sided and this was part of the reason that it finished but there is somebody here who does want to re-establish and do it very very differently this time but either way this decision you're making you're not going to be by persuaded by other people's you know opinions Self-sabotaging and listening to other people over your own thoughts and feelings could lead you to very wrong conclusions and could lead you to a lot of regret. The decision is in your hands. But I'm getting this means a separation of some kind. See that this Ace of Cups. Yeah. Somebody much more stable. much more reliable mm. there's a lack of focus at the moment I'm kind of getting a lot of you are doing a lot re-evaluating all your relationships not just the ones from the ex and the, the person you're with now mm. it's a question of coming out into the light there's a lot of healing I'm kind of getting your holding back you're letting your intuition do the talking at the moment. You're not going to reveal. You, you do feel somebody is not being totally honest with you. Kind of getting you're taking the initiative though. But there is communication coming in from somebody who's who's matured big time. What I'm getting most of all is you don't want to commit. You want to see a, you want to keep your independence. You want you want to be able to still carry on doing your thing. You want to let them carry on doing their thing and it's yeah you don't want to commit you're not sure I'm kind of getting providing that there's an understanding between you two on accepting the situation as it really is yeah 
keeping your independence. I can see major discussions going on here about the situation. Because of responsibilities elsewhere, this could be work, you know, travel, anything like that. You, you know, you don't want to commit. You want to keep your independence. For some of you, there is a soul made here. Okay. I'm kind of getting at the moment this person is asking more than that you can give them. Yeah, no, you don't want to commit. You don't mind this person being in your life, but <clears throat> you want there to be a very clear understanding between you two. <clears throat> you want to keep your individuality. You want to keep your independence. You want to see how it goes. I'm picking up spending temporary time with this person, you know, occasionally, but basically you want to live your life. Yeah, giving this serious consideration. Mm. I am getting up private conversations. This person does want to be with you. There's a there's definitely a lot of attraction here. Okay. And this person does want to be with you, but they Yeah, they want to keep yeah. I keep saying this, it's sounding like a broken record. I'm kind of getting an agreement between you two. Yeah. Working out together. Kind of an agreeing to disagree, but making progress. You're certainly leaving the past behind. Okay, there's been a very, very painful ending here. And it's a coming back together and doing it right this time. You certainly don't want to repeat a past scenario. But I'm kind of getting here. Both of you want to keep your individuality. You don't want to be living in each other's pockets. I'm even picking up to a degree here's for one or two of you separate homes or you know living within the vicinity of each other so you can see each other regularly but keeping your individuality there's even for one of you a situation where living together but you both have the freedom to do your own thing Kind of like a a very strong relationship, perhaps a soulmate, but what I call an open relationship, the ability to be able to go separate holidays, you know, be with your mates, etc, etc. That's what I'm getting. Thanks very much for watching.